वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर यूट्यूब चैनल स्पेन ऑफ दिस बीम इज 28 फीट आई विल गाइड यू फॉर स्टील स्ट्रक्चर डिजाइन ऑफ दिस फ्लोर बीम सो इफ दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो यू मे लाइक दिस वीडियो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट गाइस वेथ ऑफ द बीम इज 12 इंचेस एंड डेप्थ इज 18 इंचेस एंड दिस बीम इज डिजाइन फॉर फोर स्टोरी कमर्शियल बिल्डिंग width is 12 inches depth is 18 inches so this is the size of floor beam now let me guide you for its steel reinforcement details if you see guys this is the bottom portion of this beam which is called tension zone this is the upper portion of this beam which is called compression zone as i told you in many videos that concrete is weak in tension and it's strong it's strong in compression so therefore at the bottom portion of this floor beam we used here four numbers of steel rods which dia is 16 mm look at here this is the bottom portion of longitudinal bars dia is 16 mm four numbers of steel rods width is 12 inches now let me show you the upper portion which is called compression zone we have three numbers of steel rods dia is 16 mm the first strip spacing is here about 2 inches this is the important technical term especially in floor beam and next you can see the spacing is 5 inches this is at the distance of l by 4 after construction of l by 4 we have the spacing up to 6 to 7 inches because there we don't have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment we are providing extra steel rods near at support supports are column guys here we have totally nine numbers of steel rods two are side bars four bars are at the bottom portion and three bars in upper portion which is called compression zone If you see guys the spacing is here 5 inches this is the distance of L by 4 L by 4 means the span between two column is here 28 feet so 28 feet divide by 4 so here L by 4 spacing or distance is 7 feet so at the distance of 7 feet the strip spacing is here 5 inches and the dia is 10 mm If you see hooks are bent on 90 degree so in technical terms are from ACI or IS the hooks should be bent on 135 degree and the hooks length should not be less than 3 inches because this is four story commercial building size is 12 by 16 inches you can see the concrete cover is being done at the bottom of this portion which is 25 mm or 1 inch on each side you can also see the concrete cover they used here 60 grade steel rods which length is 60 feet for normal residential building you can use 40 grade steel rod which length is 12 meter or 40 feet this is the other beam so this is short beam which length is 22 feet long beam is 28 feet if you see here guys we don't have the side bars here only we have seven numbers of steel rods four at the bottom three at the top that's why because this is a short beam so we uh, here we don't have the maximum structure load compared to the other which is long beam length is 28 feet but the other design is same according to steel structural drawing if you see guys the slab steel reinforcement is in progress so the spacing is 12 by 12 inches this is singly mesh on the top of this they will provide the other mesh which is 6 by 6 inches center to center distance and the dia is here 12 mm or half inch next guys you can see the other beam we have so here we have two types of beam beam a and beam b beam a is short beam and beam b is long beam long beam is up to 28 feet and short beams from 18 to 22 feet as i told you in many videos practically 
that the lapping should not be provided at the distance of L by 4. Here we have maximum bending moment, negative bending moment. To resist negative bending moment, we are providing extra steel rods. Instead of extra steel rods, sometimes they are providing lapping length. So this is not good. So this is one of the big mistake you can say in the construction of RCC slab. Already you can see they did some mistakes here, especially in lapping length and the lapping length should not be less than 50 D where D is die of steel rod. So this is a short video, but very important to know about if you are working on construction site, if you are studying. So these are some important technical terms, which I have discussed different of you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.